friends, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, with a color pencil review. I have been asked many times, more times than I can count, about the new uh, Spectrum Noir color pencils. Um, they came out about six months ago, maybe maybe longer than that, and I've been getting emails, Facebook messages, blog comments, YouTube comments, YouTube messages. Everyone wants to know what I think of these pencils. So I didn't need any more pencils, but I saw them on sale for $16 a set at uh, Consumer Crafts. So, and I've been looking at them, and every time they go on sale, I've been like going, oh, should I try them? I decided to since, you know, 16 for a set of 24 is a pretty good deal. Um, and they come in um, color packages. So here you have the primary set, which is some basic colors. Kind of, they're kind of like fashion, fashion-y colors, I think. You got the essentials, which are just another basic color, but a little more muted, a little more natural. Then you have the uh, floral set. And there's no duplicates between the sets, so if you bought this set, you wouldn't have doubles in any of the other sets. So it's kind of nice if you just want to buy a set, you know, see how you like it, then buy another set and kind of go on a budget, you know, as you can afford them. There would be the uh, landscape, nature, nature I believe, which is a landscape kind of uh, collection, and marine, which is kind of your blues and browns, more ocean colors. So um, these retail for $29.99 a set, and just like anything, I found that you can usually find them for near half the price, like I did, and um, these are oil-based, not wax-based color pencils, so I just want to keep, I want you to keep that in mind. Another brand of wax-based color pencils will be the Faber-Castell Polychromos. These are beautiful pencils, but they're twice the cost. These are $64.50 for a set of 24, so I'm just kind of, I wanted to do an apples-to-apples -apples comparison here, because um, it could be very confusing to figure out what pencils to get. So what I first want to do, and I'm going to compare the other uh, wax-based color pencils that are really popular right now too, because um, again, like I said, it can be very confusing to try to figure out what you want to get. So let me start off by using a number one, which is a white, so we can see how opaque our Spectrum Noir pencil is. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Sorry about the jiggle there. Okay, so um, the Spectrum Noir pencils retail for $30 a set, give or take. There's 120 pencils in a set, and um, they are not available open stock. So if you um, if you run out, then you'll have to either rebuy the set or switch to another brand. Now, I wanted to show you the probably Chromos pencils next to it because they're also an oil-based uh, pencil. You can buy them open stock, which means individually. Um, and let's take a look at the white here on this set. Uh, it's very similar. It's a bit more opaque, but it's pretty darn close. Now, let me show you the size of the leads, though. You know, there's a reason that this is twice as much. Um, the leads are a little bit bigger on the Polychromos pencil, so you do get a little bit more uh, product, but you don't get twice as much product, so keep that in mind. The oil-based pencils tend to be more expensive, so being able to get an oil-based pencil at this price is pretty great. And then, you know, if you use up your white, you could go get a white, buy a white Polychromos for like $1.50 to $3 a piece, depending on um, where you get them, and uh, you could replace it that way and uh, it will fit in the container actually the, the barrels are a little bit bigger but it would fit in the spectrum more box if you needed to go that route so uh, they both have a range of 120 colors so I think you'd be able to find um, find a suitable replacement if you wanted to you know start off with the spectrum noirs for a less expensive pencil and then um, and then move up. So let, why don't I look at like maybe one of these brighter colors so I can really kind of test the vibrancy. Let's try this bright green here. So this is a Spectrum Noir. I'm just gonna color off a little swatch of that. It's nice and vivid. Now with the oil-based pencils you end up with more vivid brights but less opaque um, lighter colors. So that's you're gonna have more vivid color and less opaque color but this is really good when you're working with a stamped image, which I'm sure that's what Spectrum Noir is designed for, more of the stamper. So I colored this all with Spectrum Noir pencils. You can see it's not shiny like the waxier pencils can be. And uh, I was really happy with the depth of color and the, the opacity of the color. Um, I stamped on craft cardstock, but you could still see my stamped lines. So um, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's a really good solution for rubber stampers that want colored pencils to work with. So um, I did use a little baby oil to blend this. You could use mineral spirits or you could just leave it the way it is because they do blend quite well. Um, so I want to show you a dark green in the um, in the Spectrum Noirs. I'm just trying to find a similar, the similar color. That might be a little tricky to kind of match them exactly when you're um, 
when you're going and these might be a little bit more creamier but I think they're pretty darn I think they're pretty darn close so for half the price you've got a pencil that's very close to the polychromos by Faber Castell so that is uh that's great and that's one of the reasons I wanted to do kind of a uh, apples to apples oops I put that in the wrong <laughs> I put that in the wrong section though oops there we go so it's really nice so it's a very comparable pencil for half the price of the oil base polychromos so that's the I, I think that's wonderful you could start off with a less expensive set like this and then replace colors as, as you use them up since spectrum noir does not as of yet offer open stock pencils um and with polychromos you know they're a great pencil too so but you know it's a it's a huge investment if you're looking at a set of 120 of the spectrum noirs you can get those for i hallmark scrapbook had them for 100 bucks they were less at consumer crafts if you're getting 120 set of, of polychromos that could run you 400 dollars. so you're looking at a quarter of the price when you get into the larger sets too which i think is um is pretty cool okay so for wax based pencils there are a lot of options now the reason i wanted to make note of whether they're available open stock or not which means you can buy one pencil at a time is because when i when i first started out before i invested in my prisma colors i tried a bunch of pencils open stock like i, I have some loose polychromos pencils in here because i wanted to see if they were worth getting a full set but i didn't want to buy the set of 12 and have a bunch of duplicates so i would just buy a couple of my favorite colors so i did that with the um the artist's pencils too from derwent so that's why i have these oddballs in here they're just some that i tried open stock now i don't have a white in the derwent artists but um but I could color with like a teal or something so you could see how opaque that is. If I just color that over there, it's quite opaque. Um, they're not as creamy as the um, as the other Derwent pencils. I have the Color Soft, which I'll show you here. But you can, you know, they show up great on light. They show up great on dark. They're a nice opaque pencil. Wax pencils tend to be more opaque. And um, let's look at the Color Soft here. I've got. You can see the white is quite a bit brighter than the um, than the oil-based pencils because it has the wax. And if I go in with one of those nice bright greens, we can see it's nice and creamy and waxy. There's a little bit lighter than the other swatch. Let me try this one. This one might be a little bit closer. But this is from the set of 24. You know, these are very creamy. The lead is nice and thick. Um, I really like these as well. It just depends on what you're looking for in a pencil. Um, now the, let's see, the Prisma colors are my favorites. Um, they're a wax-based color. They're very creamy. You can see again how opaque the white is versus the oil base, but I think it's, you know, apples to apples. Your oil base colors are going to be more vivid in your bright colors are going to be less opaque, less vivid in your in your like you know your lights and your pastels so they're but they're great for stamping because you can see through the wax a little you can see through the the oil colored pencil a little bit better i hope this is making sense <laughs> i hope this is helpful um all right so i'm going to go and get a green that i think is fairly similar to what i've already tested out here for the prisma colors oh that's a uh, that's a neon let's see i have a lot i have a lot of prisma colors let's try this one the prisma colors are extremely uh, creamy with no dust um, but then again, the uh, Spectrum Noirs didn't have any dust either. Um, and let me see if I have that color green in my my Derwent Studio as well. And I think I have something kind of similar here. I didn't get too many of these just because I wasn't. I, I really didn't feel like they were as creamy as the. Um, yeah, they're much drier. The uh, now I said studio or artists here, and that's just because the studio pencils have a hexagonal shape, and the lead is a little thinner. The Derwent artists is more like the color soft is a thicker lead, but it still would be that harder lead, which would be great for an underneath laying down an underneath drawing that you that you want to be able to layer or. Um, you know just it's just less waxy so that's just some people really prefer that less waxy i prefer a more waxy and creamy and more painterly pencil um all right i'm gonna pause this because i have to get my colonor pencils which are another very inexpensive brand because i wanted to show you those two just to kind of compare and contrast okay i had to dig these out of my scrapbook bag because these i uh kind of this is an inexpensive set of pencils i keep in my bag and the interesting thing about these is that they have no casing they have they're they're varnished on the outside but it's all color so it is quite affordable when you think about that and plus it was the least expensive color pencil that i tried at twenty dollars and seventy five cents for a set of 24. let me just color this out it's quite opaque, not quite as opaque as the Color Soft or the Prismacolor, but I'll just color it right up here next to the Spectrum Noir uh, swatch right there. 
it is much more opaque than the Spectrum Noir. It is a little bit more dusty. This is a, um, a wax-based pencil. Uh, it's quite a hard lead, very similar to the Derwent Studio. Um, and... You know, but just not quite as opaque as those other, the uh, Prismacolor or the Color Soft. Now let me see if I can find a green that's very similar to what we already tested here. Let's go here. You know, it's not a bad pencil. It's definitely more on the student grade, but you get all pigment. You're not wasting any, and it is the cheapest of all the other pencils. The downside is there is no open stock on this either. They have the 24, set of 24. That's it. That's a complete range. But like I said, I keep it in my scrapbook bag. It's very handy for... Um, coloring a stamped image. So now I kind of want to go through and try some of these brighter colors on the dark and let's see how how they show up. So here is the, um, probably can't really see that very well on camera, uh, that is the green uh, Colinor pencil. There's a pink, it definitely loses a lot of its um, a lot of its color when it's put on the dark. You can't see it very well. Oh, there's the furnace. Let's try maybe a yellow, let's see how that looks. You know, I think these are a decent, um, a decent buy for the price, and you know they're on sale again. You can find them on sale for half the price, pretty much, at any you know online store like Dick Blick. Uh, I've seen them for like you know eleven dollars a set of twenty-four. So just keep in mind these are retail prices, but I had to compare them apples to apples, so there would be a way to uh, you know just to kind of judge them. So here with the Derwent Studios, I'm just going to throw in a couple colors: as a pale yellow, a pale pink. Your brighter colors are more transparent. Let's try this brighter fuchsia here. You know, that still shows up. It shows up better than the Koli Noir, but you know, it's still not showing up that great. I'll just do that one over here just so you can kind of see the difference. Um, so let me go up to the Color Soft range. We'll do some colors on the dark. Let's try that. I got a fuchsia here that would be very similar to the one I just used. Now that shows up really well and I don't feel like it's so scratchy. This, these really feel nice to color with, so that's something, you know, to consider too, but really it's hard to see. I don't even see it on camera. I can see it in real life, but not too much on camera. Let's give a couple other colors here, maybe a little yellow. See how that looks. Try this yellow. Let's get maybe a little more opaque. So there you can see, not, not quite as bright, but it does, it does show up. Uh, Prisma color will grab... We'll grab this uh, reddish color. We'll do it right on the. Oh, it's this prism colors I look, love because it's just so creamy. And even for a bright color, that does show up pretty well because the wax pencils tend to be more opaque. Um, let's grab this teal. I'm just kind of grabbing. You know, just to give you a give you an idea of what the colors, what the pencils are capable of. Now, this isn't really a tutorial more, as much as it is a. Uh, a, uh, just a review, but I wanted to kind of show you this stuff. I will put a picture of this or scan it or take a photo and put it on my blog so you can kind of really have a good look at it and um, decide what pencils you would really prefer to use. I'll throw a couple of those in there. These are really dusty. The Koli Noir, I noticed they really kind of crumble and are dusty. I think they have to be a harder lead because they're woodless, otherwise they would just crumble or break if they were really soft like the Prismacolors. Uh, so, and uh, Prismacolors offers an art stick which you can, um, which is a solid core, solid piece of colored pencils if you want to go that route with a Prismacolor. But, and see if I brush this away, it wants to streak and smudge. So, you know, just keep that in mind when you're choosing your pencils. By my far, my favorite wax-based pencil is the Prismacolor. Um, that's my pick. Colorsoft is really good too. You'll have to make the choice for yourself what you like the best. Um, I really think the Spectrum Noir does a great job at um, being a substitute for the Polychromos pencils, which are crazy expensive. They're great, but they're crazy expensive. So, um, so I'm very pleased with that. It's kind of like I really wanted to do an apples to apples comparison because um, I, I don't know about you, but like when I pay good money for something, I, or or if I spend more money on something, I want to kind of think that it's um, that it's better. You know, so it's nice to see that I've um, I've found these less expensive pencils, and they seem to work uh, really well. Definitely is definitely um, very comparable to the really expensive kind. Now here you can see this fuchsia here on the black. It it shows up all right. I mean, it's not really really vivid, but if you're stamping, you're probably stamping with black ink on a lighter colored pencil uh, paper, so that's going to show up just fine. Um, blending. I did want to go over that a little bit too. So why don't I 
Um, well, let me just add a couple of the colors to the polychrome just so you can kind of see that. Red, that's not going to show it. it. Well, you know what does show up pretty well in the black. I don't know if you can really see that on camera or not, but there we go. We got some swatches there. I think that's a. Uh, I'm really happy with the Spectrum Noir. I think they're they're very comparable to the Polychromos at a uh, smaller cost, but they're not wax based, so they're not going to perform as opaquely as the Prisma colors on dark, um, and they're not going to be as creamy because again they're not wax based. Now let's just um, I did a couple little swatches here and I did show you this card where I had uh, blended the Spectrum Noirs and here I just did some a little blending between the colors with the Spectrum Noirs there and on that little teardrop this was one I did with Colorsoft that didn't layer as well the um, the Spectrum Noirs are really good at layering so that's nice to see and actually I think if I take this where I had actually kind of swatched out some colors. Here I took the colors and I used baby oil to blend them and here I used a Prismacolor blender to blend them because I didn't have the Spectrum Noir blender um, and again here baby oil to blend and then just I did a stripe of the um, blending pencil to blend so they blended really well and why don't I just show you how I blended them on one of these flowers um, I think that would be probably a decent uh, a decent little tutorial so let me put the other pencils away so I don't grab the wrong one by mistake and let me grab the colors that I believe I used. Uh, let's see, I think I used everything from the um, the Essentials set here. So, and I had a, uh, I think I used these. So, or maybe I used a yellow instead of that. I think I used a yellow instead of that light green. Let's, or maybe I used both. Oh, it was yesterday. I can't remember that far away. <laughs> that long ago. All right, I think this is what I used. If not, they'll still give us a good idea. So I have um, two pinks, two grains of yellow, and a white from the Spectrum Noir Essential set. And I'm going to start in with my darkest color, which is a 039. And the, uh, the colors are also numbered from... Um, from 1 to 120 and I'm putting in my darks I think I did use a I think I actually did use a darker color from a different set but that's all right this will uh this will do the trick and then I'm gonna go in with this uh 37 which is a little bit lighter gonna kind of color over what I just did and bring the color I'm coloring softer just in soft little circles and I'm gently bringing the color up to the tips of the flower and then I'm gonna go in with white and start at the tip of the flower and kind of work down and we can see that our um, I'm sorry I'm a little froggy it's a uh, first thing in the morning um, and you can kind of see how we can definitely still clearly see our stamped lines but the colors are layering and blending well and I'm gonna go over again with my darker color I think what I did I must have taken one of the darker purples from the uh, floral set uh, when I did this but that's alright I don't know what to recommend as, as a set to start off with because everyone likes to color different things. I gra I got all of them just because I figured my kids love to make art and um, I let them use my supplies and so they will get used. And I'm just going in with my darker areas with this darker green and then I'm going to use this lighter green here right up next to them, bring it out towards the ends. And then a little bit of yellow on the tips, and just blend in. So you can see it's a very, it's very quick. It's kind of quicker than markers. And another fun technique that um, is to color over your um, marker illustrations with the uh, colored pencils. So you can see it's opaque enough to stand up on the craft cardstock, but it's translucent enough to see, be able to see your stamp lines through it. And um, you know. For the money, I really recommend these pencils. They are um, they are much less retail than the other pencils. In fact, let's do another shot at my little comparison chart, which I will put on my blog. I will try not to forget that. If not, somebody will remind me, I'm sure. Um, so, you know, they're $29.99 for a set of 24 regular price versus $64.50, because I really think they act a lot like the Polychromos. Um, replace, I would replace individual ones with Polychromos pencils if they ran out. And I'd say go for it. I think they're great for the money. I hope this 
color pencil review was helpful for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead, leave a comment, and I'll help you out if I can. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. Tell your friends, anybody you know that's considering these pencils. Uh, this might help them make a decision between them or some other brand on the market that they might prefer. There are, are other brands out there. These are the most popular ones that I know of. And um, again, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.